First tonight, more on those executive orders President Biden announced today. He made the announcement this morning in the Rose Garden in front of families of gun violence victims, including some of those killed in the Sandy Hook massacre. The measures include tightening regulations on untraceable ghost guns, those are self-assembled weapons sold online. It also puts restrictions on stabilizing braces that allow pistols to serve as short-barreled rifles. So what, if any, will these impacts have on the rampant gun violence in New York City? CBS 2's Gabe Carlin reports. This is an epidemic, for God's sake, and it has to stop. Tighter restrictions on guns, announced Thursday by President Biden, included one of very high interest to the leaders of NYPD. Cracking down on the so-called ghost guns, which are untraceable and snapped together from kits. We have seen them prevalent in every borough of New York City. Deputy Inspector Courtney Nyland is coordinator of NYPD's Intelligence Bureau, seeing more and more ghost guns in 2020. More than 120 of them recovered by NYPD. Ghost guns do not have serial numbers on them. If they are used in a crime, it's very hard for the investigation. Now the feds will require background checks in order to buy them. The administration also announced it will tighten regulations on stabilizing braces for pistols, devices effectively allowing them to operate as short-barreled rifles. Police, prosecutors, and elected officials in New York City say they are grateful for the promise of more funding and resources for violence interrupters and other intervention programs. Supporting community cure violence programs, which Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz calls crucial. It has to be a, a public health approach uh, not only do we get the guns off the street, but make sure the next generation just doesn't pick the same ones up uh, and move forward with that. Any assistance we can get from the federal government to help shore up these loopholes. In this tweet from the National Rifle Association, the Biden administration's gun control actions were called extreme, causing, quote, law-abiding citizens to surrender lawful property. The tweet ends with the NRA is ready to fight. In lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. President Biden also issued guidelines to make it easier for states to adopt the red flag law. It allows courts to block people who could be a danger to themselves or others from getting a gun. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut have already similar laws in place.